Here are three simple suggestions that the MetaQuest platform could implement to improve the indie developer experience. My name is Gary, and for the past year and a half, I have been working as an indie developer to get my open world VR pirate game Sail onto the Oculus Quest slash MetaQuest platform. Having been an indie developer for this long, I have experienced just about all of the resources that Meta has available to us indie developers, and I have seen a couple of issues. But I'm not the kind of person to bring problems to the table without bringing solutions. So here are my three solutions slash suggestions that I think Meta could implement into their indie developer program that will easily and really benefit all indie developers developers and the MetaQuest platform as a whole. So let's jump straight into it. My first suggestion is to let us indie developers target a specific device. The MetaQuest is an incredible device, but the MetaQuest 1 and the MetaQuest 2 are two very different devices. As it stands right now, indie developers are forced to support both the Quest 1 and the Quest 2. And indie developers have been rejected in App Lab because they were unable to support the Quest 1 device. I am among those developers. Our sales submission was rejected because we were unable to support the Quest 1 device. And I just feel that if the AAA studios are allowed to target a singular device, us indie developers should also be able to do it. We too are trying to push the graphics and push the hardware of the Oculus Quest to create the best experiences possible. And if we're being forced to support devices that are pretty much outdated and no longer supported, I don't feel like that's as fair to us. So a super simple suggestion is to allow us to target a specific device and that allows to create better experiences, which will in turn help the MetaQuest platform to have better experiences for their users to experience. Suggestion number two, please give us an estimate for our App Lab review. Even if it is a Q telling us that we are 54 out of 267, that would be better than the ominous message that there are lots of submissions going on and we don't know we're gonna get to it. Us indie developers are usually tight on budget and small in number, which means sitting still and doing nothing usually burns through budget. So having some sort of estimate to allow us to know when we're gonna get our app reviewed is extremely helpful and I feel like would be just a simple and courteous gesture to all indie developers. Now my last and final suggestion I think is the biggest one and I think it would be the most helpful to all indie developers and the MetaQuest platform in general and that is to let us know exactly what it takes to get onto the official store. Now the virtual reality checks are extremely helpful from the hardware and development side of things to know what it takes to get onto the official store. However, we know that not every game that gets on App Lab moves onto the official store. So it would be extremely beneficial to us indie developers to see what metrics you are looking for so that we can target those things and create experiences that you want to see on your official store. I feel like being more open and transparent about this is not only gonna help Meta to get more content onto their store, but also gonna help us indie developers to be able to target and create gameplay that is structured toward what Meta is looking for in creating in their ecosystem. My solution to this problem is to create a process similar to the YouTube monetization process wherein you give us metrics that once we've hit them, we will be allowed to apply to get onto the official store. I feel like this process would be extremely beneficial both to indie developers and MetaQuest because for indie developers, it would give us target goals that we can hit and try to create with our game plan. And for Meta, it would create more content that is created by the dedicated indie gamers and developers that have so passionately put their time and effort into this platform. Those are my three suggestions on how to improve the MetaQuest indie developer experience. Please don't misinterpret this video as being me complaining about the indie developer experience. I have absolutely loved being a developer for the Quest platform and have absolutely been astounded at the resources they have available for us. Oculus Launchpad, Oculus Start, and just the vast amount of documentation that has been available to us developers has been phenomenal in creating great experiences. As I said earlier in the video, I'm the kind of person who brings solutions to problems, and that's what I want this video to be. It's not me complaining about Meta or their platform, it is me wanting to help improve the platform because I like it so much. If you have any other suggestions on how Meta can improve their indie developer program, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear other ideas from you developers. But hopefully this video reaches the right people. To help it do that, guys, please leave a like and subscribe to you if you want to see more content like this. That is all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.